Okay, this is the WebEx desk cam again under low light conditions. So what we're going to do, it looks like I'm recording this in the WebEx desk camera app. And it looks like you can adjust the settings. So what I'm going to do is fuss around with the settings and see what I can do to the image quality. And actually, it looks pretty good because I'm in a quite a low light situation. Um, auto white balance is on. Brightness and sharpness appear to be uh, about midway on the slider. And let's first click off auto white balance. And there things kind of turned a little British orange and there is a slider for now that populates for white balance it's about 40% of the way so we'll just slide this dynamically completely to the right and then slide it back completely to the left and so you can't tell what's well maybe you can hang on one second so let me push it up to here and now I'll turn all the white balance yeah you can't see where along the slider when you turn on auto white balance that it uh, that it goes to so we'll just dial this down a little bit I'm up there so there's brightness and sharpness and it's actually the sharpness wise it's pretty nice let me turn its sharpness all the way up and now turn it all the way down to see if there's any real difference and we'll put it back in the middle brightness is currently in the middle so we'll back that down that's about 25 percent that's back at 50 percent and that's about 75 percent so those are let's see what are what are this okay there are presets for image settings um, quote natural is default and so that has the contrast and saturation disabled so um, we'll go to custom and now that allows you to change the contrast and saturation contrast is about 50 percent saturation looks about 40 so we'll hit the contrast a little bit that goes up that's about 80 percent we'll back it back down that's at zero so saturation now yeah that's at a hundred percent that's at zero auto focus is turned on not worried about that auto anti flicker it's set at 50 hertz there's 50 and 60 hertz there's 60 okay and let's see if there there are other camera settings basically it is field of view resolution frames per second let's uh, just run through them there's 81 there's 81 75 70 and 65 let's throw it at 65 then and that's the tightest and back to 81 which is the widest and then let's go back at 65 there are there is the best overview setting which is currently disabled so that allows for some uh, panning and tilting functionality as well as uh, digital zoom so that all appears to be the zoom appears to be limited to the field of view because 
Yeah. So if we zoom all the way out, you can see the limits here and the limit here at 81. And then if I go, if I zoom in, I was already panned over all the way to the edge. But if I zoom out, go to 65 degree, I cannot pan then from there. So it's holding that 65 degree based on the center of the sensor. So yeah, I can't I can't pan to that, but if I zoom in, I can pan around, but it will not pan all the way to that edge, which would be the edge 481. Okay. So there are microphone settings, which is just a volume and input level. Appearance, I can make a dark mode to this app, which has no, no functionality for the camera. Update supports camera info and about. So that ran through all the settings. I just didn't. Uh, let's turn on best overview which gives it a little it's not speaker tracking but it's just a, a little auto panning and so that turns off the field of view and does not allow for any sort of uh, manual PTZ adjustment Let's do this. I'll turn that off. I will zoom in or use the 65 degree and now turn on best overview. Okay, so best overview pops it back out to 81 degree field of view. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Because then the sensor would have to be taller than, it, than a 16 by 9. Uh, let's turn it back off. We'll go to 81 degrees again here, and it's just that much off of the display. I can see up to here. I can see, yeah, it's going to be, okay. Let's just say it's a little below that. And we'll turn on best overview. And it pans it down. So, yeah, the sensor is not a 16 by 9 sensor because it's actually capturing or it can capture more above and below based on this tracking so you can see the let's see if I, yeah you can actually see quite a bit more interesting okay so that really only helps in the case of having this best overview because if I turn that off and I'm back at 81 degrees I cannot see where we could see the crown molding back here in best overview I can't get that with any electronic panning so anyway that is the WebEx Desk Camera 4K and the audio because I'm using this app you can't have an ancillary microphone so this is the audio coming from the microphones of the camera and just for the heck of it I want to throw in a little bit of brown noise And this is this is low. This is not at a at a high volume at all. Um, but I just wanted to see what happens. To the audio and I'm talking over the audio. Five, four, three, two, one. 
And uh, that's it. All right.